Hey guys, uh, today I just want to show you how to make a realistic book cover. Um, if you were going to ever have that in your scene or whatever, um, you can actually, actually use this, um, what I'm going to show you, to actually put decals on stuff like uh, soda can and uh, other books, uh, box. I, I was actually looking to like do a Mountain Dew can, but I couldn't find any pictures on the web about like a Mountain Dew can flattened out to where it, you can see the whole thing. And so I just went with the next best thing, which was this book. So that's if you guys can find that, you guys can do that. Uh, if you can't, then let's just well let's just follow along and see how you can actually achieve this. I actually downloaded this picture off Google. So if you want to follow along, let's just go to Google and type in. Harry Potter and Dylan Hollow's sleeve, and you'll find it. Alright, so I'm just opening a new file. Make sure my scroll works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. Now, just go to scale manipulator mode, and let's just drag this out, this in, and this up. Just to make it look more like a book, right? And now I want to go into edit mode. Uh, go to face select mode and select these three faces. <clears throat> Hit. P and by selection so that our texture we can actually remove our texture and just have it be on this right here. Alright, so now I tabbed out and right clicked on my book sleeves, tabbed back in. Make sure it's all selected. I'm actually going to open another window, use the image editor, and unwrap it. There we go, here's our book. Alright, so I'm just going to probably wait. Uh, let's open up our image. So, whatever you want to model. Whatever image you want to model, that's what you want to open. There we go. I'm actually going to control up arrow. Gives me my big view, full, full screen view, so I can look at this right now. Hit A and B to select all. My box select tool. Hit G and just pull that up. For some reason, uh, the. the. Um, Z, the restrict to the Z axis doesn't work, but like let's right click on shift right click on these two, grab on the X, and that actually does work. Just a little weird, I don't know if it's a bug or not. Uh, anyways, alright, so you just this is going to be the inside sleeve. If you know sleeves, they go in the inside or whatever, so we don't want to include that. And just shift right click right here and grab on the X and just grab it to the book spine. Shift right click. Just do the same process. Shift right click and uh, what is it? Grab along the X. This is a if you're American, this is a UK cover. Like my sister came in and she's like, that's not the real Harry Potter cover. And it's not, it's from the UK. They have different covers over there, I guess. Alright, anyways, once we have this, let's image save. Alright, and control up arrow again to go back into the view that we were. And let's. If we render this right now, you won't see anything because we must add it as a texture. So, what I'm going to do now open texture, new texture, image, or movie. And since this is still in our system as a UV, we can actually just pull it up right here. Just like that. Let's go both. So that's what it looked like, basically. So now if we were to render that, it doesn't look right because we just need one more step. Since this is a UV mapping, we need to, under image mapping, not map under mapping, the coordinates are actually UV. So they can use this, this right here, what we just did, on the book. So let's do that. And there we go. And we just need more lighting on this side and to get rid of this up here. It is very easy. Uh, actually, let's get the lighting first. Tab out, Shift B and Y, Shift B and X. Found that works pretty good. All right, so now let's right click on our inner sleeve and under Materials, uh, deselect that too. Let's see if that works. Nope. We want to just get rid of that material altogether. There we go. So there's our book. The 3D view right here. Uh, you can do this with anything, like I said, a uh, box of cereal, cereal box, or whatever. I was actually wanting to do this with a Cheeto bag, but again, I couldn't find the um, 
the unwrapped version, you could say, the 2D version, the front and back. I just threw mine away too, so that was a bummer. But uh, yeah, so that's how you model a book, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment below. Uh, see, tell us how this worked out for you.